I was a little nervous at first because this was my first book. Never, never got anything published like this before. And I was like, well, my husband listens to a lot of audio books. And I was like, well, why don't I try that? And then I saw some of the prices and I was like, oh, that's a little expensive. But then I heard your voice and I was like, that's, that's the voice for this book. I like, that's what, that's the voice I pictured. I was like this, I need to have Graham do this book. Let's dig deep into our minds to answer a few questions that might be soaring in your head. Why should I start meditation? How would I want to meditate in my life? Can meditation change my life? How do I apply meditation skills in my life? What superpowers can I get with meditation? So, the wait is over, and you can get started with the beautiful art of healthy living. Meditation. Aria Renee, it's good to see and hear you for the first time. How are you? I'm doing great. It's great to actually see, put a face to your voice, Graham. Thank you very much. Well, well, it was a lovely book to do and an important book, Relaxation and Meditation Techniques for Adults. And I've even said adults rather than adults, which is the way we say it in the UK. Um, so it is a lovely, lovely book, and an important book too that can help a lot of people. Um, whereabouts are you? Because we are thousands of miles apart. So I am actually in Missouri, in the US. Yeah, Missouri. The state of Missouri. Mm -hmm. Missouri. Now let me think. It's I've been. Like... I've been to St. Louis, which is in Missouri, right? I am actually just south of St. Louis. <laughs> really? Whereabouts? Yes. Uh, it's a small little town called Festus. Festus, right? Yes. I drove from Memphis to Chicago via St. Mm -hmm. Louis. So I may have even gone through your town. Are you on the main road? Uh, I'm off of the main road. Okay. We live okay. out on... Okay, right. <laughs> we live out we, in the nowhere. We went... I mean, I didn't go up the state highway. I went up the, the old road, but yeah. But it's a lovely part of the world, though. I met some nice people on that trip. It's a really good part of the world. Yeah, I'm actually... Um, I'm from Washington State. And then right. when I was in the military, I went to Florida and I stayed in Florida for 10 years. And then me and my husband uh, kind of retired this way. So whereabouts in Washington did you grow up? Another very small town called Rainier. Right. Is, <laughs> is that name? I know Mount Rainier. Mount, is it Mount Rainier is up that way, isn't it? Yes. So is it near there? So not far from Seattle? Uh... So it's called Rainier, but it's actually, I want to say about an hour and a half drive it was from Mount Rainier. Okay, right. So, yeah. Okay. So you grew up there, then you went into the military. Which branch? Thank you for your service. Which branch? Uh, I was in the Navy. You were in the Navy. So did you, what yeah, did you do I, in the Navy? I was a gunner's mate, actually. So I worked on most of the weapon systems, and then I also trained uh, sailors on how to use those weapons. And then, so um, these are shipboard weapons. Yes, and as you well were... as the small firearms as well. Wow, serious, proper military! You weren't in the stores. <laughs> <laughs> no. Did you see any action? Uh, we did see some, not a whole lot. Uh, my ship had actually just come back and we had just entered um, a dry dock period to get the whole ship worked up when one of our one of the navy ships sent all those tomahawks into the middle east oh whew, six seven years ago now yeah <laughs> we had just missed it by a couple of weeks right so. so you were nearly right amongst it then mm-hmm and was it in the Navy that you found a need to explore relaxation and meditation techniques? Because that's a high-stress job oh. when people's lives are on the line there. 
it was actually after I had spent so much of my life being so hyperactive and constantly going, going, going that I was like, I need to find a way to not do that since everything's not so stressful anymore. <laughs> so what was it you were doing? So you went you went from uh, Washington State on the, for anyone who doesn't know, on the West Coast, sort of north on the way to Canada um, that way. You went from there right down to the southeast, to Florida. You probably couldn't have lived further away from your home and still been in the United <laughs> no. States. That was for the Navy. So so then after yeah. the Navy, did you then go to Missouri from there? Uh, yes. we. Uh, my husband was also in. He had another year and a half or so after I got out. And then from there, we went from Florida up here to Missouri. Is that where his... Which is kind of like middle of the U.S. Yeah, yeah. Is, does, it, does, it, is it, does it count as the Midwest, Missouri? Yes. Okay. And so it, was, he, was that because his family are from that way? Yes, they are. Um, right. Okay. So you, got, you yes. moved somewhere where you had his family around, and that makes sense. Yeah, we have a uh, we have two kids, so we wanted them to grow up near their family. So was it the kids that brought on all the stress? I mean, kids do add stress, but I love them all the same. <laughs> oh, okay, but I'm trying they to make find it worth the, it. the the motivation to, to get into to the relaxation and the meditation. You said it was because things were like stressful and go 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 go. What was what was the the thing? I mean, were you were you working in a high stress environment again? Uh when I first got out, I was in real estate, and right. uh, so that was a little bit stressful because you don't really know when your next paycheck is going to come or in. Or commission, yeah. Or yeah. commission, and so I went from. Uh, from the moment I pretty much turned 18, being able to pay for everything on my own to all of a sudden now I have to rely on my husband to pay for things. And that didn't really sit too well with me. And yeah. I had a really hard time accepting that for a while. Yeah. And uh, so I needed something to help get through that little so Bush. where did you go looking for help? Where do you where do you pick up the information from? So I started off actually. There's this uh, there's this app that I uh, that I downloaded, and uh, it's actually in my book, but I can't remember the name of it right now. <laughs> okay, yeah, but it's um, a guided meditation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a guided meditation, and I started doing that. And then I started to work in a little bit of yoga. I bought some uh, some yoga DVDs, and I just kind of went through that. And I started, found that I really liked it, and it really helped me. And I was like, well, I like to write too, so why don't I put all of this into a book and maybe help someone else? Yeah, and I think it good. it's good because it, it, it lays everything out without getting all hippy-dippy. It, it just no. uh, the book's great you know it, it 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 just says you know the these are the the techniques these and it explains all the different things that you can do and and it doesn't get too deep into it it just says you know there's this this and this was that a a, a deliberate approach on your part or did the book kind of take you that way once you start sat, sat down to start writing it well that was pretty much what i wanted is like something that anyone can just pick up and be like okay, I kind of like how this part is, or I kind of like how this technique sounds. Maybe I'll try this. Not, oh, I'm going to dive into just this one technique and this is the right way. It's kind of anyone can jump in and find whichever one uh, works best for them. Yeah. Well, it's called relaxation and meditation techniques for adults. Is there a difference between relaxation and meditation, or are they both related i mean they're obviously both related but what well, what is the difference between relax see somebody might be very good at relaxing but not understand meditation how would you explain the difference oh so for me meditation would be just um setting aside five to ten minutes a day that's just you in your own little bubble um 
either uh, you know, basically just getting away from anything that's stressful. Like um, if you have young, young children, like when they're taking a nap, go take five, 10 minutes and just, breathe, you know, do some deep breathing exercises and just kind of de-stress because I think anyone that's had children or currently has children can knows what I'm talking about when they can be a little bit stressful. So yeah, yeah, that's meditation. I mean, I don't Mm -hmm. meditate as often as I used to because I have a very low stress lifestyle now. I'm a full time audio book narrator, and that's a very (laughs) oh, thank you. But it's a very low stress occupation. Because you work at your own pace, you set your own hours, as long as you hit the deadlines for the authors and you get the feedback from the authors and you you can change things and move things around the way they like it. And it is very, very low stress. But I used to work in a very, what I considered a very high stress job. I was a broadcaster and and at one time I used to do an all spoken word. So no music, no commercials on the BBC. The BBC radio here doesn't have any commercials on a local BBC station in Swindon. And so it was a breakfast show as well. So we kind of set the news agenda. It was a news show and it was, you know, live and you worked with a lot of other people and producers and stuff. And I found that if I, we went on the air, I think it was at six o'clock, might've been 6.30, that if I spent the first 20 minutes in the studio with the lights out and just meditated for 20 minutes, by the time it was time to go on air, I had defragged the whole brain and I could just focus on each different part of the show and the way we go. And I, you know, I don't, you know, I did really enjoy meditation and I, you know, I'd like to say I still do. I do occasionally, you know, maybe a couple of times a week, but I used to do it every morning before the show. And I think for me, it was invaluable. So I know exactly what you mean about checking out. I think one of the best descriptions I heard about it was it's like as if you're stood on the side of a busy main road. You just don't, you, all the traffic's going by because you don't, you're not ignoring, you, you you accept that stuff's going on, but you just decide not to step into the road. <laughs> you yeah. just, just stay at the side and just enjoy the, the calm and the peace that, that comes from that. Yeah, but it is, uh, I, I really, and that was what attracted me to the book because I knew how meditation had really helped me at a time in my life when I really needed to, to de-stress. And, uh, and uh, I, I think for me, narrating audiobooks has become a type of meditation you know because you have to be completely in the moment you have to block everything out and you have to concentrate on what the author's written and you have to bring it to life in a way that you know that as many people as possible can understand it so you have to go at a pace that isn't too quick and you have to try and do justice to the words on the page so for me i i find that and when i play the guitar i don't do that as much as i as i used to as well that is a kind of a meditation for me. Would that be right? Have I, have I summed up what meditation is? is could 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 the yeah. reason why I don't do so much meditation is I'm actually meditating because I'm narrating audiobooks? Could that be yeah, a type of you're, meditation? Uh, you're doing it like all the time now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, and I work on multiple books at a time. I'm actually only working on. I've worked on up to five at a time. Sorry, no, up to eight. I'm working on. No, one side you did, I was on. I was working on twelve right now, but the, uh, I'm working on five at the moment, which is which is a, is a good number for me, is a low stress number. How did you find the experience of turning the book, then your work, your written words, into an audio book? Uh, well, I was a little nervous at first because this was my first book. Never, never got anything published like this before, and I was like, well. My husband listens to a lot of audiobooks, and I was like, well, why don't I try that? And then I saw some of the prices, and I was like, oh, that's a little expensive. But then I heard your voice, and I was like, that's that's the voice for this book. I Like, that's, what, that's the voice I pictured. I was like, this, I need to have Graham do this book. Oh, that's really nice of you to say that, because <laughs> I, really I really did enjoy the book. And um, so, so why do you think that people don't, get into relaxation and meditation because you lay it all out in the book just how simple it is why do you think people stay stay away from it i just people i think people don't think that they have the time to do it because they're so stressed out yeah but that they don't realize is that those five minutes that you're i don't know maybe having a smoke break or a coffee break you could take some time away from that and just 
even if it's a few minutes and relax and meditate and just <laughs> completely de-stress. Yeah, it's and you'll feel great nice. afterwards. It's like waking up after a really, really nice sleep, even though it may have only been 10 or 20 minutes. It's yeah. really nice. It's a really it's a really warm feeling. I, I sometimes would get to a state of like almost complete bliss. <laughs> it's just like silly bliss, like, you know, like being no better place, just wrapped in cotton wool and... Yeah, it is a it is a great thing. Have we got a dog getting in the way there? Have we got a Oh, it's a cat. Hello, how are you, pussy cat? Who's that? Yeah, it's a little kitten. Her oh. name is Zelda. What's her name? Oh, oh she's Zelda. up. Zelda. Yeah. Why did you call her Zelda? Uh, me and my husband are both kind of nerds, and so <laughs> it just kind of seemed natural. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Okay, so people should be taking time for relaxation and meditation. What's the biggest misconception then about meditation? Is that it's only for hippy dippy people, as you said. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, you know. People, you know. In fact, I, I, you know, I have to admit, when I was when I was daily meditating, I wouldn't really talk about it to people um, because I thought people would think I was a bit weird, hippy dippy. <laughs> yeah, a yeah. bit weird, a bit. But my favorite kind of joke description about meditating goes along the lines of um oh yeah i meditate because it's better than sitting around doing nothing <laughs> because it is sitting around doing nothing, doing nothing. Yep. which and i spoke to danielle pai who who does uh, um i've done some science fiction books and a murder nice murder mystery book with her too uh, in Florida, and she is a yoga instructor, you know, and I always said to her, you know, for me, the thing I hate, them, the thing I like the most is doing nothing, which is why I like meditation. The thing I hate the most is doing exercise. So I'm not really that <laughs> big a fan of yoga because they've combined one thing I love with something I hate. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah, how does the how does the yoga thing fit into it then? Because it isn't essential, is it? It's just more health, isn't it? Yeah, it's a... Uh... It's more, so the yoga is more for me to kind of do some more exercise that I may not get a chance to normally with my kids. I see, um, yeah. When uh, when we were at our other house, I would go downstairs to try to work out, and then my son would come down the stairs, and he'd see what to do, and he would try to do it with me, and it was quite comical to see. How old is he now? How old are the kids now? Uh, five and one and a half. Okay, so still a lot of work then. Not that I know. I don't have kids. You know, when when I say I have a low stress life because I work from home narrating audiobooks, it's even less stressful because I just got two cats. So that's all. And the, it's it's no it's no kids. So I uh, I probably don't need it as much as I I did when I did breakfast radio for the BBC. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, we have a small farm out here too. So. Oh, do you? Do you? Yeah. What kind of farm? What do you grow? Uh, so right now, uh, so our vegetable garden is uh, prepared for next year, but yeah. that's <laughs> probably about, sorry, about okay. half an acre or so of land set aside for the garden area. Then we have chickens, rabbits, and uh, next year we're getting goats and some pigs. Right. So. Are you going to be killing the chickens and the goats and the pigs yeah we we've already done that with some of them how do you do that when you know them it was really difficult the first time um really difficult i actually made my husband do that part <laughs> and did you eat them yeah they tasted great well i'm sure they did but <laughs> i yeah I I, I I i i couldn't get i couldn't do that yeah, it was it was difficult. I'm not gonna lie, right? But it put food on the table for my boys. So, so if you've got a small farm with animals and all that, maybe you are hippy dippy. <laughs> uh, maybe just a little bit, I think. <laughs> yeah, but you. But the the message of the book is anyone can can use relaxation and meditation to enhance their life, and. Yeah. It, it 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 helps every aspect of life, I think, because um, I think it takes anger away. It doesn't it doesn't take an edge off though. If you if you are 
like driven and, and ambitious and uh, focused. It doesn't take that away. Um, it just takes the anger side out of it and you can handle situations better, I think. Yeah, it can help you focus, really. Um, yeah, it de for me, it, it defrags. It just takes a lot of the clutter away and makes you just concentrate on one thing at a time. You can go, okay, yeah, I can handle this now. You're not like all these things going on and it just, you don't yeah. know which, which way to turn. Yeah. So then writing then, you say this was your first book. When did you start writing? Uh, well, I started writing probably back in middle school. Yeah, and what um, kind of stuff was that? It was like scary stories. Uh, one of my uh, language arts teachers had us do a, a scary story for Halloween. And I found that I actually liked to do that. Yeah. So I've just kind of continued writing since. And um, whew, I think I've got three or four other books that I've just kind of been typing away for who knows how long. <laughs> No. And are they are they like um, health and lifestyle type books like this one, or are they fiction? Uh, those ones are fiction. I have another nonfiction book though that I'm working on as well. Wow! So you're becoming prolific. Uh, that's if I get those ones published. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. First. Yeah, yeah, and you're full time mom as well, and there's a farm to run. So wow, you've got your hands full. You definitely need relaxation and meditation <laughs> techniques, or you get no time to yourself. Yeah, except for when they nap. Okay, and your husband know. is is he into it, or is he? Do you have to convince uh, him into relaxation? Yeah. No, he he plays video games. Okay, well maybe that's his meditation. That's his way of checking out. Hello, yeah. pussy cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. They came to say hi. Well, it's great to talk to you, Aria, and Zelda as well. Uh, good to talk to the uh, <laughs> the two of you. So what is next for you? Is it to get one of the next books published, or have you got something else on the horizon? Uh, yeah, my next step would be to finish my next my next book so that I can get it published. Great. Well, good luck with all that. And of course, if you need a narrator for one of those other books, you know, you just have to let me know. If you'd oh, like definitely. to get, yeah, thank you. If you'd like to get one of these uh, books, the, the relaxation and meditation techniques for adults, it's a great book. It sets it all out. It's not too hippy dippy. It just explains it and why it's important and how, how nice it is and what a difference it can make in your life. It'd be a great starting place if you if you've maybe dabbled in meditation and you want to find out more, it'll be great. But if you've never if you don't know anything about meditation, you've always wondered, all the questions are answered in this book, which is now also an audio book. There are links to everything in the description if you'd like to buy it. So uh, click on the link below and relax and meditate. You'll get the relaxation and meditation techniques for adults by Aria Rene. You'll get it wherever you get your audiobooks, whether that's Audible or Apple or Amazon. But there are links to, there's Amazon links uh, in the description. Uh, so thank you very much, Aria Renee. Great to talk to you. Continue relaxing and meditating. <laughs> thank you. It was nice to talk to you too, Graham.